Hare Krishna. Hi everyone. Welcome. In this video, we are going to see a Java program to print a given number in a reverse order. For example, take a number 456. If you print in a reverse order, the output will be 654. Let's practically implement this program. Add a main method. We'll take an input from the user. Scanner SC is put in use. Scanner of system.in. We'll read the value entered from a user using an extint method is the inbuilt method in a scanner class. We store that value into a variable called num of integer type. So before that, let's print a message to the user asking him to enter any number. Once we have the number, let's close the scanner class object. Whenever we come across any program related to digits or numbers, we should remember three things. We should go for a while loop. This is the easiest way to iterate through a number using a simple condition number greater than zero. Then we need to remember the two operators, divided by operator and modulo operator. Divided by operator will remove the last digit from the number and modulo operator will do the last digit of a number. Divided by operator will remove the last digit. Modulo operator will give the last digit. So now let's add a while loop number greater than zero. Here we need a last digit number modulo 10 from 456 we will get a 6 we store it into a variable called remainder we will take a new number called reverse number initialize it to 0 reverse number is equal to reverse number into 10 plus remainder so that each time we left shift the number each time we left shift the reverse number by one and we add that last digit to it. So we will understand this in better way once we debug the program. Now once we get the last number, we add it to the reverse number. We need to remove that last number from the original number. We will we'll use a divided by operator. Number is equal to number divided by 10. Now number is having only 46 from 456. Similarly. The while loop is iterated till the number is greater than 0 and the reverse number will be stored into the variable reverse number. While loop will iterate through the all digits of a number until the number is greater than 0 and it will be keep adding the last digit of a number to the reverse number variable. Finally print the reverse number to the console using a system.out.println. Let's run the program. Enter any number 456. Reverse of a number is 654. But we can see that reverse of a given number is 0. At line number 19, the number is already become a 0. Hence, we need to add this print statement before the while loop. Let's rerun the program. Enter 456. The reverse of a given number 456 is 654. Let us debug the program so that we can understand the algorithm in a better way. Enter a number 54. Control is entered into the while loop. At line number 16, we are using a modulo operator to get the last digit. Number is 54, modulo 10. First time remainder is 0. As soon as the statement executed, 4 will be stored into a remainder. Initially, the reverse number is having the value 0, 0 into 10, 0 plus 4. The reverse number will be having the value 4. At line number 18, we are using divided by operator, number divided by 10, 54 divided by 10. Now, number will be having the value 5. The last digit is removed by using a divided by operator. 5 is greater than 0, yes, condition is satisfied. Again, loop Again, we enter into the while loop. This time, 5 modulo 10, the remainder is 0. This time, 5 modulo 10, the remainder is 5. Reverse number is having the value 4. 4 into 10, 40. 40 plus 5, 45. 45 will be stored into a reverse number at line number 17. Then, in line number 18, we are dividing a number by 10. Number is having a value 5. 5 modulo 10 is 0. We will check the condition. 0 is greater than 0 
inside the while loop the condition is not satisfied while loop is terminated will print the reverse number to the output the reverse number of a given number 54 is 45 thanks for watching